Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We're taking a look at a unique style of rear kitchen travel trailer that's perfect for couples and it's perfect for towing down the road. This is the 2023 Winnebago Mini model 2529RG. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Winnebago and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited to be showing you guys the mini travel trailer from Winnebago. Very exciting. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will. Hey guys. Things are starting to heat up some. A little bit, it's getting a little better here. But um, also what's heating up is the competition. Yes. For the uh, pine pooping position bobblehead. So if you entered last night, make sure to check the description uh, in this video. And we announced yesterday's winner and all the past winners. And if you're on that list, reach out to Matt, Matt at mattsreviewreviews.com and uh, you'll get your free bobblehead. Now things are really heating up here, Will. Yeah. Uh, how does somebody enter? Basically, you have to watch this whole video and at some point, I don't even know when yet, we're gonna give you the uh, steps to enter for tonight's video, but everybody has an equal chance to win. So yeah. You gotta comment, you gotta hashtag comment. bobblehead yeah. down below but we talk about something that you need to talk about in your comment. Yes. And we'll disclose that a little later on. There you go. The model is, well, 2529RG. The actual tip-tip length of this unit is 29 feet, six inches. The dry weight is 6,548 pounds. Well, this is the Winnebago Mini. I believe this is now a step down from the Winnebago Voyage. Right. From what I'm seeing with the 2024. Right. Now, I thought they were more sister products, but it does look like the Voyage, at least for 2024, looks a little bit more beefier than the Mini. Yeah. Now, with that said, the Mini for 2024 might be also as beefy as the Voyage. Maybe. We'll find out when we get some 24 Minis in. Okay. Like this one does look like a small step down, but again, it's that Delta level, that Imagine yeah. level, that, that really good level. Nice power sun jack here. Propane tanks go there and your batteries go there. Right here, we do have a very nice, beautiful painted, molded fiberglass front cap. Winnebago, nice graphics package right here. Diamond plate rock guard there. Coming on down, we do have nice slam latch door okay. with really good storage underneath there, Will. That is great storage. I love when the door is smaller and then you open it and you just see all right. that massive amount of storage there. Very, very nice. And then coming on down, check this out. Not one, but two doors from the outside to the inside of the RV. Okay. And then look at these steps. Well, womp, womp. I hear you. We are going to address these steps a little bit later. Okay. I hate the folding steps, but at least they are the aluminum folding right. steps, you know? Coming on down, we have a very nice power awning with LED lights, speakers on the outside. And then look at these tires. Well, they're good your endurance tires. I love those. ST225-75 R15. Very nice. Right over here is going to be your potable water fill. Potable, potable. Power and USB for the outside. And then guess what, Will? What? Check this out. On Winnebago. There you go. They use Asdell. And I'm so glad they're starting to put the stickers down. Right. Asdell is a composite and it will never delaminate on you. But guess what, Will? If you don't have the sticker, you don't know it's there. Right. So we much appreciate that sticker. This unit also does come with the comfort technology package and explorer package. If you guys go to General RV's website on this unit, there's a brochure tab, and then it will pull up the brochure for the Mini Winnie. Yeah. Um, and it will show you what comes with those. Right. Grab handle, and again, those fold up steps. Okay. A little spray port for the outside. And then coming around the back, Will, we do have a nice bumper for the Stinky Slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier, prep for the Voyager backup camera, a ladder to get up on the roof. And then right here, Will, is an exterior shower. Nice. Oh, and there's a hitch right there for 300 pounds of vertical. 250 pounds on this one. Okay, a vertical weight. And yeah. as Will was saying, that is for like your bike rack. Yeah. You cannot tow behind that. Correct. Back here, Will, you can see these electric switches for 
your electric stabilizing jacks. Okay. Nice uh, place to dump your holding tanks. And then right here is your hot water heater, cable hookup, satellite hookup, more potable water fill, and 50 amp power cord for the inside. There you go. Nice. And then finishing up, Will, there's another place to dump your tanks. Okay. Okay. And then here is the other side of that pass through storage. Nice. Well, well, the outside of the Mini looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay. Take a look at the inside. Okay. Take a look at me now. All right, in the back is the kitchen area. Then you have your living area, dining area here. In the middle is your bathroom and the bedroom all the way up front. Where are we starting today? We are actually going to start back here. You're starting back here, but first let's give a big shout out to Lipper. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips, don't wait. Be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. Great. Will, go ahead. Okay, I actually really like the interior colors in here. You know what? I don't. Really? But I, like I, but I was thinking, you know, Andrea and Jen and you probably like it. Yeah. I'm not a fan. That's what's so funny. It is. Okay, nice big refrigerator here. And then you got a drawer, like, good for pots and pans underneath right there. Okay. Up top here is a little high point microwave. Now, this is a convection microwave because you do not have an oven in this. Okay. Nice backsplash. Three burner suburban cooktop. Yeah. Right here. With Damn, the lights, dude. I think. Can yes. I say something? What? Suburban, Furion, high point, Dometic. Yeah. I mean, Mixing they, it up. They, they, they were grabbing what they could on this one. Right. Breakers and fuses underneath right, right there. There's another drawer right there under. Oh, there is. Okay, I thought yep. there would have been. Bad nice, bad. another big drawer right there. Coming back up top, there's more storage here. Right there. Yes. And here. And then in this corner, you have windows on both sides. Nice extension faucet here. Decent amount of countertop space. I mean, not that much actually, to be honest, because um, a lot of it's not usable. Like you, you can't cut vegetables back there. Nice storage right here, power, but at least they do give you this right there. Yep. There you go. And well, you did you address the elephant in the room? That's oh, yeah. blue cabinetry blue underneath. Blue cabinetry underneath. Interesting, huh? It's very interesting. Yeah. I I've never seen anything like that. Okay. And then over here, Will, we do have a JBL sound system. Nice storage right there. TV that does sit above the dinette. Yep. And it is across from the sofa right there. Okay. Right here, we have that storage. And then, oh, 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 we're going down, down, baby. This obviously drops down to make a bed. Good size dinette, Will, comfortable, not the most space, not the least space, you know? Right, right. Nice storage there. There you go. Those blinds. A little bit of storage underneath there. Okay. No storage underneath there. Interesting. And then oh, this, I think there's AC ducting down there. Got it. And then this is the really nice up and down. Yeah. Makes it really easy, especially if you have to do this a lot. Right. A lot of times those poles are a pain in the butt. Yep. 
And then across from the TV, Sir William, is this very nice sofa. Theater seat. Okay. Oh man, definitely blush. Looks comfortable. Come here, have a seat there. Okay, I might not want to get back up. No, it. Oh yeah, that, like the back like, like, support. Like a lumbar support yeah, almost. Yeah, that is nice. Right there, you got a nice cup holder. Storage, Storage there. there. Yeah. So you think that's nice? What? I think it's kind of weird. Oh, I like it. That's funny. Here, let me. Uh, you gonna recline it? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> See, it's probably not the best to sleep on. No, it's like, it's almost, it's like making, it's like pushing my arch out. Yeah. And like, it's making my stomach stick out even farther. Like, I like to like sit and like hide it concave and yeah. hide it. Yeah. It's just getting real with you, honestly. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's just, it's the self-awareness theater yeah. seats. Really, really nice. And again, well, this does sit across from the television. Over here, you got power, USB, USB-C, and uh, wireless charging. Love that. And then this is some storage. This, I guess, could have expanded into the kitchen That's storage. I was thinking, yeah. You know, nice drawers. But you can use this for anything, yep. you know? As big as this RV is, America, it's still an RV. So, and then this would definitely more be the kitchen yeah. stuff with the pantry. But, you know, if you got stuff, you really need to use every nook and cranny for in sure. this RV. Yep. And, well, you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on stock number 291527 is $56,077. Will, that is MSRP. Jen, again, please call Cosmo to get a fantastic sale price. This is a 23 unit and it has to go. So make sure Cosmo gives you a kick butt deal. And guys, look at that phenomenal price. Right. And Will, as phenomenal as that price is, I know we can always take it to the next level and get an additional $500 off. For sure. All you guys have to do to get that price or a little bit better is go to generalrv.com slash Cash. We'll link it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us and a member of our team will help you guys get the absolute best price in America on this RV or any RV at all. That's right. Will, show everybody the shower. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I didn't even see first. that door. I guess more pantry expansion. Right. Dang, I didn't even see that one. That's pretty cool, huh? Which probably means, it's a radius? No. Nope. Holy smokes. But it's a big step up. That's a big step up, but yeah. I mean, a really good size though. Yeah, the width and the depth is good, but the height just isn't there with that step up. Yeah. When I stand up, I'm touching. So? It doesn't pass. Womp womp. Man, so much potential. It's, but there's probably like an air duct under there. Yeah. Nice mirror right here. Well, I am the biggest. You're making a mess. Make America messy again, that's me. <laughs> good storage right there. Nice sink, liquefied. Our brand of RV toilet treatment. Guys, go to primepoomposition.com to pick up the bo a bottle. Guys, it's the holiday season. Who doesn't want a bottle of liquefied? There you go. No, you know what they do want for the holidays? What? Prime Poop Position bottle. Right. Right. And guess what, Will? What? We are not talking about it yet. Okay. Show the storage underneath here. Okay. You know why? Sweet. We need that algorithm to trigger. Right. <sighs> Man. It's a tight bathroom. It kind of is, yeah. But like passes, pass, fails, fail well. This is a prime poop position. Bing! But I'm giving it just barely. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Now, here's what I will say. That shower looked pretty fantastic. It did. Especially if you're my height, you know? Yeah. Like somebody like Will, you know, it's not going to work out well. And then coming on into the master bedroom, you are going to see two sets of storage around on both sides. Right there. Nice okay. storage above there. And then Will, that side. There we go, right there. Power, USB, USB-C. Love that. Nice little drawer here. Okay. Anything there? Nope. Nope. Same on this side, and then same on this side. Very good amounts of storage for uh, underneath here, which is really nice. Nice sliding door, and behind you, Will, is a second, second door. door 
to the inside. I do love that. Yeah, I do too. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, Will, it's time to give you three things we love about this unit and three things we don't like about it. Will, what do you want to do first? You want to do three things we dislike first? Okay, first one's outside, or is it the first two outside? One. Dislike number one, Will, look at these steps. Right. Womp womp. Give me solid steps or give me death. Listen, this is a 2023. Hopefully they update these for the 2024s, but for this unit, this is a big dislike, not just for one door, but for both doors, yeah. Will. That's dislike number one. What's dislike number two? A dislike two, number two for me is gonna be in here. There is not at all a lot of usable countertop space in here. Talk to me. Like, if you're trying to chop veggies on a cutting board, you got like this area here or this, and that's it. Um, I don't know what the answer is, but you know, more counter space it is. Yeah, definitely. Not only that, well, I can see that countertop getting stuck in that yep. slide out, you know what I'm saying? It. And stuck then just tearing way. it all. Yep, like even you when it's closed. You could have it up and then rip it off, putting it in. Or when it's closed, I could see it like popping open, kind of like that. Yeah. And then you pull the slide in and it messes it up. Yep. So, well, that's just like number two. And then just like number three, you know what it is? What? Time for the bobblehead. Okay. Hashtag bobblehead comment. What could you not cook in a kitchen this size? Right. What's your favorite meal that you love to cook, but you look at this kitchen and you say, you know what? I couldn't cook that meal in this kitchen. Right. Comment that down below. Hashtag bobblehead. We will be selecting a winner. If you comment sandwich, you're not going to win. Sorry, buddy. Tell us a little bit of a story, 10 words, yep. a paragraph, something like that of your favorite meal to cook and which one you can't cook in this kitchen. Okay. With that said, somebody like me will, I don't care. Yeah. I'm not cooking the most gourmet a meal you in get here. is a sandwich probably. Right, right. That's like a nice gourmet meal. But you know, like again, I'm not I'm not a chef creation in here. Right. Dislike number two. And then well, dislike number three for me is gonna be two things. Gonna be the carpet on the slide out. Yep. No big deal. But that big step up in that shower mm -hmm. will. That was one of the best showers we've I seen. Know. For me, I'm good with that shower. Right. But for you, for the tower shower test, mm -hmm. it didn't work. But um, in uh, it's all because of that step up. Sure is. That's three things we don't like about it. Well, now it's time for three things we love about this unit. May I go first? Sure. The double doors. Yep. Two doors is better than one. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, you know, especially driving down the road, if you want to pull over park on the side of the road to take a nap it's a pain in the butt with my unit because i got to put that slide out out here right. you could, could just open that door mm -hmm. and take a nap there you go that's like number one will what's like number two like number two for me is going to be in this bedroom how even though it's just a simple bedroom they still gave you really good like yep. walking space like they definitely could have brought this in more oh yeah to make it shorter yeah and give you more space out there but I like how they kind of like prioritize this room a little bit too. Yeah, definitely, so. definitely, definitely. That is number two. And then, well, number three for me, like number three, like number three. Um, I got it. Turn around. Okay. Turn around. I like this storage, this storage, and this storage. Right, tons of storage. This unit has a great amount of storage space in here, and it's kind of a weird place. And it's kind of weird how they're all next to each other. But again, at this size, you're stuck with the size that you have. And yeah. so for them to do really good storage, and this storage doesn't take away from that shower. Right. Kick butt awesome in America. There you go. Guys, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in buying this Winnebago or any RV at all, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call. 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us and a member of our team will help you guys get the best price in America. Will, what say you? Guys, thank you all so much for watching. And again, like Matt said earlier, make sure to follow what he said earlier to uh, enter to win to get the bobblehead. Have to hashtag bobblehead. Yeah, you have to hashtag bobblehead and answer the question that he, he asked earlier. Make sure to uh, also leave in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about this unit. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Will, you never know when we give away two bobbleheads. I know. Sometimes one time we gave away three. Yeah. So, you know, if you guys comment twice with 
what we asked you to comment, mm -hmm. and you comment what you like and what you don't like, maybe we give away to. Who knows? Right. Check check the YouTube description to see if you're been if you are a winner in the past, and make sure you tune in tomorrow night for another video of Matt's RV reviews. There you go. Thank you, absolutely everybody, so much yes, for watching, and we'll we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.